Today we're talking about the RC Tackle Swim Jig. RC Tackle Swim Jig has been around for about five, six years now. Right here is the quarter ounce jig and the splatterback shad pattern with one of our the uh, white five inch gordo grub. Uh, what's unique about the RC Tackle Swim Jig, the hook is very strong and sharp. Uh, some of the other manufacturers have uh, hooks in there. They're a little bit finer wire and they tend to bend or break after a full day of fishing around heavy cover. This hook here will last all day. Um, not have any problems, not, it, not have to worry about missing a fish. The head of the RC Tackle Swim Jig is very well balanced. Won't roll as you're bringing it through the heavy cover. And if you want to speed up that uh, retrieve a little bit, it won't roll at all. Um, the bend in the hook will come through any kind of vegetation. You can throw it up on top of the pads or moss and bring it right over top of it. it won't get hung up on anything. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go fishing and see, show you some swim jig action. Fish a swim jig around vegetation, you know, lily pads, see out here, duck wart. Really, you know, just fishing it on a 6.6 six, um, medium heavy action rod with a quantum uh, high speed reel with a 30 pound power pro. Today it seems like you're just casting the jig out to the edge of the vegetation and letting it sink down and giving it a steady retrieve back with a few, I don't know if I want to just give it a few little twitches of the rod tip. Just gives it a little erratic action to the bait, kind of uh, kind of mimics a bait fish. If you're, like right now in the uh, fall time of year, you'll see the bait fish in the water. And if you see that little flash of uh, light, that's them just going like that. And so it's, the twitch of the rod kind of mimics that. You really just have to pay attention to what the fish want that day. Some days they just want a straight, steady retrieve. Other days more of a reel it and let it sink and then continue reeling. Today it seems like kind of a steady that steady retrieve with a little twitch to it. There we go. Okay. That fish hit as soon as I brought it off the edge of that lily pad. A nice five odd hook on the swim jig. Hooks them every time. I nice think about a swim jig is great for um, fishermen that don't get out fishing a lot or kids. Because I mean, you can cast this thing in anything and it kind of very snag proof. Um, so it's a great lure, you know, if uh, you just want to take, you know, the kids out fishing or take a friend out fishing that doesn't fish a lot, their chances of catching, you know, bass, walleye, pike are all there and, you know, you're not going to lose a lot of baits if you're throwing it on that braid. Um, works really well. As far as colors, um, fall time of the year, you know, the whites work really good because it's mimicking that shad. Um, in the spring, Sometimes uh, the black and blue. Black and blue is a good pattern all year. Other times more of a bluegill pattern with some brown and blue in it. Works well. Uh, as far as grub colors, you can vary that up. Today I'm using, uh, going between a white and then the uh, baby bass laminate one. Other times you want to kind of contrast the colors. So maybe a white jig with a blue grub. Um, or, you know, or a black blue jig with a white grub. Kind of depends on the water clarity, you know, so what uh, type of forage you're trying to get the jig to mimic. With the custom made hook in, our, in the RC tackle jig, you don't have to worry about getting any of the, you know, snot weed or any of that just slimy river muck caught up around the uh, eye of the jig slides right off of it. You bring it to like a pocket of vegetation or a little scattered patch, you can bring the jig up on top of it and then slowly let it fall down the face of it and that's when I got that fish the last time as it fell down the face of that vegetation.
Other unique feature of the RC Tackle Swim Jig is the uh, unique plastic keeper. Just take that grub and you slide it right up onto that uh, ridge keeper. It stays right on there. No need for super glue. Don't have to worry about that grub sliding down the shaft of the hook as you're bringing it in.